Welcome to Muriel's Mini Obsession. Uh, today I am doing the doll collector tag for 2023 and I saw um, the Doll Coven YouTube channel do this tag, I don't know, I guess it was a few weeks ago and I was like, yeah, I think I should get on that before the end of the year, before it's not 2023 anymore. Um, so that's what this video is. I guess it was originated by, sorry, just checking my notes here. I have notes. <laughs> I actually printed it from the Doll Coven's, uh, YouTube. Here's a screenshot of her and everything. Okay, the tag originated from Kate's Toy Box 6766. So just giving credit where credit is due. Um, but before I get into all of the questions for this tag, um, I just wanted to invite you all to join in. Um, I'm going to be co-hosting an Instagram event starting December 20th and running through New Year's Eve. Um, so it's hashtag 12 days of holiday drinks. And, um, it's basically 12 prompts, one for each day. Um, so it's things like hot chocolate, eggnog, spice cider, and they're just things to give you inspiration. Um, you know, this is for doll collectors, toy collectors, um, you know, miniaturists, um, really, you know, anyone with little things that wants to join. Uh, and you can find all the details uh, for that event on my Instagram, which is also Muriel's Mini Obsession. Um, but now I want to get into the prompts for this tag. So the first question is, which upcoming release are you most excited for? Um, so there, there's a couple um, from Monster High. I am really excited for the Hiss Fit set. Um, with Meality, Persephone, and Torlai. I just think, uh, you know, they're just so cute. <laughs> I'm really excited for them. Um, you know, I have a couple Torlai's, but the other two are the ones that I'm really looking forward to. And, um, and also Venus McFly Trap. She, I, you know, she's looking amazing from the stock photos that I've seen. Um, and then the other one that I'm really excited about is Pull Up Isla. I actually pre-ordered her, um, from the Groove Japan website. So I don't know when she's going to come. I'm hoping maybe she gets here for Christmas, but we'll see. Um, okay. And then the second question is, uh, what are the top five brands that you want to collect? Um, so I'm pretty happy with my collection. I don't have like a ton of extra space to be like starting a new collection, um, aside from the lines that I already collect. But if, if like space and time and money were, you know, not a factor, then I, I would be interested in getting into smart dolls. Um, I have three friends who recently got a smart doll and I have to say like, you know, I'm very curious about them. Um, other than that, like integrity dolls are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they just have like the most beautiful faces and their fashions are to die for. Um, be my cherry baby. Uh, you know, just the whole like upside down pouty lip thing. It's really appealing to me. Um, if I could get my hands on, on just one of those, that would be awesome. Um, and then I really like Pinky Cooper, which is, um, like anthropomorphic, uh, dog headed dolls that are, I, I believe they're no longer in production. Um, but I think they're super cute. And then also, um, Kern dolls. Um, 
they're kind of like on the less expensive, you know, more play line end, but I think they have really beautiful faces. Um, so yeah, those are the five that I would uh, add to my collection if time, space, and money weren't an issue. So the third question is, what brands do you currently collect? Um, so the main brands that I currently collect, um, aside from like a couple of off dolls here and there, uh, Rainbow and Shadow High, Monster High, Pulip, um, Blythe, I Love You Forever, My Scene, and Bradzilla's. And I, I hope I'm not forgetting any, but <laughs> those are the main ones. Um, okay. Now, oldest doll. Uh, so this is not the doll that I've had for the longest, but I believe that she is the oldest, like, manufacturing date. Um, her body says 1966. Um, and I don't know who she originally was. This is not her original outfit. Um, she's wearing Mycene shoes. Uh, it, I actually, she was a reroute from, um, very important Barbie stuff on Instagram. Um, she rerouted her with this beautiful red hair that I love so much. Yeah, but my actual, my first, like, real doll uh, to enter my collection um, was Daphne Minton from Rainbow High. Uh, okay, my newest doll. So I don't know if this technically counts, but she's supposed to be my Christmas present. Um... So she's going to be getting wrapped up, which is why she's still in her box. But this is Kayano, pull up Kayano. Oops, sorry, let me see. The face a little better. I just think she's gorgeous. Her face, her outfit, everything. I cannot wait to open her. All right, next we have a recent gift. So my most recent doll that was gifted to me, which is like, I feel like it's such a funny question because like just even like the assumption that as a doll collector, you will be gifted dolls. It's, um, it seems a little presumptuous in a way, but like this community is so amazing and, um, like I myself am still in shock that I have been gifted dolls. Um, anyway, so one of the lovely uh, collectors that I know, um, Our Plastic Muses on Instagram, gifted me this Mycene shopping spree Delancey. And I still have her in the box because, I don't know, I just, I'm waiting for like the right moment a special moment to open her. Uh, but yeah, so she is a very amazing, generous gift that I still like just, I, I can't, I never get over it. Uh, okay. So next, my current favorite. This is such a hard question. Like all the questions that ask about your favorites are really difficult for me because I love all my dolls. <laughs> um, but if I had to pick like a current favorite, cause it changes, you know, it changes from second to second. Um, I, I would have to go with Kayano again. So I'm like, I'm so excited for her. Uh, let's see. All time favorite. That question is too hard. It's just too hard. I'm not going to answer it. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I won't. Not going to happen. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, favorite pet. So I guess like the main pets that I have that have come with dolls are from Monster High dolls. 
I do have a couple pets that came with um, some like random Barbies that I got. I don't have a lot of Barbies. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I'm not going to choose a pet that came with a doll. I actually have one that is very special to me that a friend made for me. Um, so my friend Kate, who's Mushroom Miniatures on Instagram, made this dragon. Let's see if I can get... Not focusing great. Probably partly because my nails. Oh, no! All right, let's try this again. This is... This is SJ. <laughs> if I can get... Oh, that's actually not too bad. This is SJ. And SJ is short for Smog Jr. Yeah, he's named after um, Smog from The Hobbit. The golden obsessed, gold obsessed dragon. Um, because he's gold and this is just really special to me because my friend made it and, you know, I have this whole like headcanon about him and he's like the pet of my main characters in my diorama. So yeah, I, I love Smoggy, SJ, Smog Jr. Uh, okay. My most expensive doll. So, Pull Up Optical Queen was my most expensive doll to date. And I obviously still have her in the box. Um, you know, probably understand why being the most expensive doll. I, I do plan to eventually unbox her, but like kind of like with my scene Delancey, one of those things you have to find the right moment you have to really be in the mood um it's almost like a spiritual thing <laughs> i don't know how else to describe it but yeah that's my most expensive doll and then the next question is who is your least expensive and she's also still in the box she's still in the box because i just got her on black friday sale this is Scarlet Rose from Shadow High, and she was $14.99. Woo! What's the next question? Favorite doll brand? This is kind of a hard question, too. Um, I, like, I love all of the ones that I collect, but if you factor in, like, the price point, the quality, like hair quality, quality of the clothing pieces, um, articulation, all of those things. I would have to go with Rainbow High. Um, you know, if you don't, if you don't factor in price, I might say pull up, but pull up are just so much more expensive so um you know the quality that you get with rainbow high shadow high for the price point uh, to me is unbeatable um now anyone who's familiar with rainbow shadow high and has seen some of the latest uh, you know stock images of the new dolls that they're coming out with I, I hear you if you're disappointed. Like, I I have very mixed feelings about them. On one hand, I think some of them look kind of cute. I'm disappointed about the loss of articulation and the fashions are not looking great. Um, but, you know, just based on, like, what they've come out with historically, I think, you know, I've been extremely happy with what they've produced up to this point um next question is basically do you have unopened dolls well clearly i do i've shown you a few that are still 
in the box um and it's never my intention to keep dolls in the box um i i eventually open all of my dolls because i'm just not an inbox collector i don't have the extra storage space to keep a bunch of dolls in their boxes and really i would rather take them out and like i really enjoy the tactile experience of playing with the doll, touching their hair, redressing them, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, eventually they'll all get opened. Next question is, favorite doll in your favorite color? So over here, let's see, I have... Our hair got a little messed up, but... Hold on, this is Jade. From Rainbow High and I did customize her a little bit I repainted her lips um, they're more of like a a pale like icy pink when I first got her I don't know why it's not focusing it's, ah. anyway um yeah, her lips were more of an icy pink when I got her. She's actually the winter break version of Jade. And, um, I don't know. I just preferred, a, like, a little more of a warmer coral tone in her lips. And I, I've given her glasses because I have glasses. And she's sort of like my mini-me. But if I had green hair. And she's wearing this adorable sweater and sock set that Fang Fang Boogie on Instagram gifted me so generously. Um, it's just so adorable. And it's, you know, my favorite color, green, with her green hair. It's just meant to be. All right, so then we have, what's the next question? Your favorite original stock outfit. These questions are so hard. Like, all of these questions asking your favorite of this. I had a hard time answering these questions. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I will show you. Okay, this is Margreth. She is a pull-up. And I think her outfit is just, like, beyond adorable. These bears on her dress I don't know I have a thing for bears <laughs> uh like they're just so like nostalgic in a way um you know like when I was little I had my like special teddy bear and yeah it's just very nostalgic for me um so anything like with teddy bears um uh, and I'm a little obsessed with Christmas, so, like, the the red plaid, mm, it's just chef's kiss to me. Love her. All right, the next question is your worst doll. Okay, this is a sad question, but <clears throat> I am planning to sell fabulous pets Cleo because her bangs are so awful and they're they're like not thatched through her hairline it's like a whole separate row of rooting so if you pluck those out she's just gonna have holes in her forehead and it's very unfortunate um <clears throat> she also her face up is pretty similar to monster ball Cleo, so she's my worst doll, and sorry, she's naked, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to be selling her to, you know, hopefully someone that um, is an excellent doll customizer can make her look fabulous, because I'm very limited in my customization skills. Okay, so the next question is, what is your biggest doll? And I don't really have any one doll that is, like, way bigger than the others, but um, pull-ups are my currently my biggest dolls. Um, and then the next question is smallest dolls. So, okay, I'm not sure if this technically counts as a doll, but 
I also have a pretty large collection of calico critters, also known as Sylvanian families. Um, yeah, my camera is just doing such a bad job focusing on things today. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, this guy's super cute. Um, very tiny. Like, if you compare this Barbie. So, the next question is, what is your best duo set or pack? And I'm going to have to go with the Sunny and Luna 2-pack from Rainbow and Shadow High. Um, <clears throat> Luna is not wearing her outfit that she came in. Um, Sunny is, but I think they're just both so cute. I mean, Sunny is like perfection with the cuteness. Um, Luna is very beautiful. I haven't washed either of their hair yet. Um, definitely plan to because they're like rock hard, but, um, yeah, so Luna is actually wearing this outfit from a uh, Too Cute Club on Etsy and it says, I need more space. And I love it um, because, you know, it kind of speaks to her less sunny vibe and also just like on a personal level, like I'm someone that needs a lot of personal space. <laughs> so I really love that. Um, I ha and then like the last question is who is your best boy? And I love this question because I love my easels which are like polyps little brother dolls and my favorite of them all is my pull-up easel uh midnight deja vu i mean he is just like so fabulous look at his fabulousness oh his hat's fine <laughs> hat doesn't stay on very well but it is gorgeous He's my best boy. And that concludes the prompts for the Doll Collector 2023 tag. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, if you've stayed with me this long, thank you. Um, if you like doll or miniature content, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, you know, all the good stuff. Um, and thank you for being with me and I hope to see you next time.